What is up, guys? It is uh, uh, Joshua Newman here, or Video Game Jam Poop, or Jam Poop. And in this video, I thought I'd do something a bit different today instead of Let's Plays. Uh, so, what I'm going to do today is replace a battery in a Game Boy or Game Boy Color game. So, the game I have here is Warrior Land 2. Now, this does have a working battery, but I just want to replace it anyway. <laughs> so. There are a few methods, there are some methods you could do. You can have, you could do the soldering, which most people recommend. Uh, although, I've not done soldering yet, so I just, I can just literally, uh, I could practice, but, however, about this time, COVID season, I won't be able to do that that much. Uh, however, the method I use, although most people don't really recommend to use but I do it anyway because it's easy is the knife method uh, so I've got a knife here uh, so 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 the battery in question is I'm gonna take this part you'll need a game bit screwdriver for Game Boy you can search that in the internet yeah take that apart okay I've got that out and then slide there you go You can see the battery in here. So right here, there's the battery. It's a uh, CR1616 battery. However, some later Game Boy games, such as Pokemon Crystal, uh, Pokemon Gold and Silver, uh, as well as the Japanese version of uh, Pokemon Yellow, and US and European versions of Red and Blue, uh, so Red and Green and Blue did not have that, uh, use uh, instead use a CR twenty five uh, twenty twenty five battery. However, in this video, I'm actually going to replace a sixteen sixteen or twenty twenty five battery uh, to a twenty thirty two battery, which is uh, really bigger. So now this may be dangerous for some of you, but just bear with me. So what you can do. Uh, because I'm using the knife method, I'm going to use a knife. <laughs> now, you can also use a box cutter for this method if you're using the knife method. So, uh, so you can either use it which. So, now, you're going to watch carefully. So, you can see I'm, I'm not going to cut anything else. I'm just cutting the battery. Well, not actual battery but <laughs> I'm gonna basically take the battery out of the tabs because you can see those tabs here those solder points they are what lead to the actual uh, battery itself so what I'm gonna do is put the battery in you might not see by camera but I'm gonna shove it in here and then try to like wedge it like that and make sure the sides are like open so it's like turned like that so that's what I'm gonna do you might be able to replicate it from here so you can see what I'm doing here is just now this is very tricky uh, to get off but it is uh, the easiest method I I would do uh, I've not done soldering yet but if I have soldering practice I'm not sure how easy that will be but still and it's also because I'm not that old enough I'm not sure if you have to be old enough for soldering iron but still I'm going to take, now there is a risk of doing this, uh, like I did with my other game, uh, Warrior Land 1, uh, Super Mario Land 3, uh, you can hear the cartridge now, the tabs uh, fell off, and uh, I accidentally cut them, uh, I will be, later in the video I will be trying to do this cartridge as well, and try and fix that. Because I managed, because my Pokemon Red card, funnily enough, uh, also had one of them. But now it was repositioned slightly, and it actually works now. <laughs> so it still has a working save, uh, my Pokemon Red cartridge. And if you're wondering, my Pokemon cards are all Japanese. So this Warrior Land 2 cartridge is also Japanese. Which, funnily enough, <laughs> the Japanese version was only released for Game Boy Color. There were two versions of Warrior Land 2, uh, a, a Game Boy version and a Game Boy Color version. Uh, I got the Japanese Game Boy Color version, which is the only version released in Japan. 
whilst US and Europe also got an original Game Boy version. So if you hear that sound, uh, one of them has gone loose. Oh, <laughs> they've both gone loose. So you can see this like that has happened. And now, then we then what you do, you can either do it like this. So it's like inside. Uh, I don't like this game. Let's break it. It's not like that though. Uh, but I do it like this. I switch it round. And you've got to be careful because this can come off easily. Uh, so you've got to be careful. Thankfully, a, the chip here uh, makes a good alignment. So now you can actually sort of see properly now because of the camera. The camera I'm using is a PS3 camera. And this is being captured at OBS. This is actually the first video I've actually captured in OBS. <laughs> so... So I'm gonna hold on. This is the the first part is easy, but the second one is hard. So, uh, so you gotta bear with me. But if you hear a clicking sound, you know you got it. Okay. Uh, if it does turn in a different color, the solder points, it doesn't matter. It doesn't mean it's broke. It doesn't mean it's broken. It's not broken. It's just because of folding it too much. Now, I recommend for this one, for the last one, if you hear one click, then leave one uh, as it's still stuck. Then I can show you what you can do. Because I do this a lot when I've replaced batteries. <laughs> I've actually replaced one of my N64 batteries today. Despite not being dead, but uh, I want to replace it anyway. And the game was Ocarina of Time, uh, and that my copy is also Japanese uh, uh, version 1.0, of course. Uh, and uh, and the N6, N6, some N64 games, most of them don't use a battery. Uh, some do, so Ocarina of Time is one of them. Uh, for Game Boy games, almost all of them use batteries. Uh, Game Boy Advance is pretty much the same as the N64. Uh, some use a battery, most use a flash uh, F, uh, FRAM instead of SRAM. Uh, or EEPROM, which they are way better. Uh, which I'm kind of sad for one of the games, because one of those games that uses a battery... I forgot that right? Is uh, Mega Man Zero. <laughs> Um, and I really love the Mega Man series. Uh, it is my favorite classic uh, franchise, not just classic Mega Man, but also Mega Man X. But yeah, I'm sad that Mega Man Zero 1 uses a battery. Zero 2, Zero 3, and Zero 4, they use a uh, flash memory, although Zero 4 uses EEPROM, but still. If they did use a battery, I would be sad to all of them. I would actually cry because I like the I love the Mega Man Zero series. Zero is my dude. You might have seen it in my uh, icons and that. Now, this is hard. I told you guys this would be really like. I don't know if I've got it. <laughs> Nearly got it. But if you hear a click sound, or if it comes loose, you got it. So, for this one, I recommend only having one loose. So it can be any you want. So which one you find difficult. Okay. This is hard. My fingers hurt as well. Oh. Come on. Oh my god. This is hard. But we're nearly there, guys. So I, I think some people did this quicker than me, but... Still, my N64 one took a long time to do. Now, this is not going to damage your game, guys. Uh, it can, it will damage the battery, but it doesn't matter because the battery is going to go in the dumps anyway. It's going to go down in the toilet dumps. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you could just, uh, well, no, I'm not telling you to flush it in the toilet. Do not do that. <laughs> uh, because uh, animal safety... Uh, that's why people try to ban uh, Q-tips in the UK, uh, which are basically common ones, you know, to clean your ears with. But they were also used for cleaning uh, cartridges. And I, can I get this out? Oh my god. This is hard to get out, guys. 
It's been like nine minutes now. No, ten minutes. Oh. <laughs> My thumb hurts. But I got it out, guys. Now, I was going to show you the best strategy, right? Well, unfortunately, because of that... Oh, my poor little thumb. It doesn't matter, though. It's not a car or anything. I'm not going to die. Uh, it's not even... Wait, is it bleeding? Well, it's slightly bleeding. Uh, okay, it, it doesn't matter. Um, but you, we can see we got the battery out. Uh, now, what I was going to do... So, if you had, like, one stuck and the other's not loose, you could just turn it around until you hear a clanking sound, and that's another way you could get it out. That is my best strategy, if... You get to that. But unfortunately, I cut my thumb. No! No! My thumb! Oh, no! Don't matter, though. But as long as we got the battery out, it's okay. It's okay. I don't need the hospital or anything. So, so now what we're going to do is, uh, because, I, like I said at the beginning of the video, we're going to replace this from a 1616 battery to a 2032 battery and they do work with a 2032 battery so I'm gonna get one from my thing here uh, I don't know which brand it is but it can be any brand uh, I used to use like the Kodak ones uh, now depending on the ends depending on the cartridge you have you'll have to face different ways so for Game Boy cartridges the text that you can see it says uh, Lithium battery, I think it says, as well as the Japanese text saying the same thing, as well as CR22. That goes down, so you can't read, so you can't say it. And then the bottom part uh, will face up. For N64 games, it's the other way around, and same thing with Super Nintendo games. I don't know about NES and Famicom. I'm guessing it's the same as NES, uh, SNES and N64. Uh, probably. So now, then, then you'll also need electric tape. Uh, it can be any you want, but I'm just going to go with this cool one. Uh, although, like, when I replaced my battery in my Japanese copies of Oracle of Ages and Seasons, so they're Legend of Zelda, I used uh, red for Seasons and blue for Ages to make it look cool, because, well, as you know, the packaging is the different colours. Uh, so, we can see here... Uh, we place it here, and then the tabs, uh, so the text part will touch the bottom one that was hard for me to cut, and I managed to cut my poor little thumb, oh no, and then, uh, you would put that there, and then you would put the battery inside like this, and then that, so then basically making it this. And then you want to put tape around that area. Ugh, hold on. So it should look like this. Uh, now, sometimes the battery will... You might think the battery will not work, but it actually will. But it's because of the position. So in order for me to make the position right, I'm going to put another tape on. Uh, I just used a knife. Just uh, hold on. Okay, that that's blocking on the camera. Hold on, let's put that there. And then we're going to. I'm just gonna replace. I'm just gonna put this. So then it's pushing it down. So I'm gonna. So, oh, hold on. Oh, there we go. Now, tape can fall off sometimes, but this tape has fallen off. Let's just hold it for a few seconds. So, it should look like this. Uh, depending on the tape you have, it may look different, but it should look something like this. Uh, for you guys, mostly. This tape's not working properly. Let's put more tape on. Just to keep it in, shall we? Yes, we shall, guys. We need more tape, because it needs surgery. Of course it does, my poor little cartridge. Oh, and we need you for saving. Although I could have got a... Although I've not played Warrior Land 2 yet, but I'm going to replace the battery anyway. Even though the original's not dead, it still works. 
but I want to replace it anyway. So this is what mine looks like. It may look different to you depending how you do it. It's up to you. But you've got to make sure that the that the, the the left tab is touching the text at the bottom well, for Game Boy Carts. And then the top one is facing the bottom part of the... So basically, the... the uh, what was it called? Um, something in the neg negative. I've learned this in school, though. I forgot. Uh, oh, yeah, positive. So the positive is basically the text, and the negative is the other side. The positive on Game Boy games is touching... So it's facing the actual green board, and then the negative is facing up, so heaven. It's the other way around with some cartridges, not sometimes Game Boy cartridges, it was the other way around for me, I think on one of my Pokemon cartridges, I'm not sure if it was gold or silver, it was one of them when I got them for Christmas from Santa. So now that's done, I only recommend putting the back part back on. So then, now we're going to test our game. So I'm going to grab my Game Boy Advance SP here. Yep, the Game Boy Advance SP. Oh, wrong way around. And it is safe to plug it in like this. Uh, I'm doing not, not going to go on fire or anything. So, this is going to be awkward for you to see, but... Uh, now we're going to... Now we're going to show you the gameplay. You can hear the audio. So Wario Land 2 is booting up. New game. Now, the intro takes ages, but you don't have to finish the first level in this game, because when I just tested it on an emulator to screenshot the game with a continuing clear data, you could just you could just stay sleeping. So as the, as this intro is going, we're gonna leave that behind for a moment. Uh just so I can watch the same game. Uh, we're gonna look at mistakes I made on this car, uh, Super Mario Land 3. Uh, so Super Mario Land 3, uh, Wario Land. Or Wario Land Super Mar Mario Land 3. Uh, this one is a European cartridge, but the game is a world version, so... You can see that the tabs have come off. I did not solder or anything. If they come off, you can make the battery work again, but it is very hard. And you'll most likely not get it working. I got lucky with my Pokemon Red cartridge. So, I'm going to reposition the battery. Uh, if you do get it wrong, then this is the method you could do. Now make sure the bent part, so, where, uh, so make sure the pointy part is going to face down. So like this. Then place it on. This may be difficult. Okay. This is tricky. It's because I don't have... If it doesn't work for me, I'm going to get like my granddad to fix it because I think he does have soldering skills. So the game is now making Wario sleep. Uh, now, and I'm just going to wait. So now I'm going to put a CR 2032 battery. This may not work, but it should. So this is tricky because it's still loose slightly. Where's the battery? Oh, there it is. I cannot see it because of my... Things are in, my fingers are in the way. Let's put it in here. Okay, like this. Let's put the battery slightly forward a bit, so then... Oh, wait. Just like this. So the game is now... So then the game is saved, and I'll show that off in a moment. I'll show that off in a moment, uh, but for now, uh, we'll uh, sort this out by just simply putting another battery on. 
Uh, another battery on her. Another tape on. Do 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 do. Please replace my battery. I still have blood on my thumb. I think it's not. It's not actually a massive cut though. It's actually just a minor cut. But if you do get cut, it doesn't matter. You don't need the hospital. You could just do it free. Right, I'm getting uh, a bit scared because the the tab most likely will make it not work. I am scared. I don't know why. Do do do. Right, and we I'm gonna press that down. Tab is now faced. Oh, but the tab is now facing up. Oh no! But we gotta fix it somehow. Oh no! It's a it's broke. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! We gotta fix it. Oh no! Uh, I'm just gonna reset the game with a button combination. And yeah, so we gotta position this battery. Bear with me, guys. Uh, this video is just literally mostly me doing this battery. I'm gonna pull this battery slightly. And we'll bend it slightly. Okay, like this. Okay, we can stick them on. Now, this is so far what it looks like, but I don't know if it's going to work. I I bet it's not. Uh, but testing things out will eventually prove in ourselves. Now, I best put another tape on over that. Just to prevent more of the... Just to prevent more of the, uh, you know, uh... Thing from coming out. So, this time I'm gonna not do that. I'm gonna put tape around here. So I'm just gonna put it around here so at the back. Uh, the back doesn't really matter, it can have tape at the back if it wants. Then I'm gonna put slight tape on the other side. So, right here. So, like this. And for the side where it's like a knob, we could just, uh, we just, it'll push it like that and then we can still put it in. Uh, okay. Alright. Uh, one more thing to do, tweak, is to just put it over like this. And then... It's been like 20 minutes now. Okay, this is what it looks like now. We're gonna put it back in now. And unlike where I would put the game in without the label, I'm gonna do it with this game. Then I just do it like this. And we'll test this game in a moment. But first, let's see if our... So, the save state will be here when I reset the game normally. With a button combination. You can see there's a continue and button here. 
Now let's turn it off for a few seconds and see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then let's see if it worked. It should work. Yep, there we go. We still have continue. Now, now I'm going to put the other game in. So first what I'm going to do is I'll boot this game up. And I'm going to use black and white Game Boy mode for this game. Then as that's loading up. You can see there's zero save file. And I'm going to use file A for demonstration. And then I'm just going to play the game. So I'm just going to play the game. Now, just bear with me here. So I'm just going to play the game as normal. Uh, unfortunately for me on OBS, I cannot pause. I, I don't know if you can, but still. So I'm just going to play through the game like this. <laughs> I'm just going to basically... I don't... I just need to make it so I just finish the first level of the game. Uh, that's all I need to do. Okay. Uh, because when I finished a level in this game, and even Super Mario Land 2, a number will appear on uh, the file select, indicating how many levels you finished. Uh, and I've actually done a glitch in Super Mario Land 2 on my Japanese copy, where... Uh, you can actually get more, it's like you have more levels done, even though there's only like 31 levels in the game. But I made it so it showed like 99. If you want to know that glitch, you can just watch a Son of a Glitch's video on it. So I'm nearly at the end of the level. So I'm nearly there. So I'm just going to finish it. Then... There we go. And then, you can do a... Uh, I'm just going to skip the bonus game. Because I'm only curious about the save. Uh, uh, no coins. Well, 22 coins. But it doesn't matter. I'm just curious about the save. So the other level is unlocking. And then, boom. So when I reset the game normally, it should uh, display a 1. So you can see a 1 there. Indicating I finished the first level of the game. Uh, now, this might not work. Uh, it did a lot for me. Uh, it might work though. Uh, we don't know. Uh, so I'm going to turn the game off. And I'm just going to put my screw back in for Warrior Land 2. And I'll test if that battery will still work. And now let's turn this game back on. on game Boy mode. If you want to have black and white mode, just press, just hold B and then press right. I bet it's not. Oh, wait. There's still a 1 on here. There's still a 1. Hold on. Now let's put back the screw. And see if it's actually true. Or if it's just me looking at things. There we go, and then let's plug this back in. So the screw is back in, let's put it back on black and white mode. It doesn't matter which mode you have, I just prefer black and white mode for original Game Boy games. The save is still there, oh my god. It looks like I fixed the repositioning of these, uh, of the tabs of those metal plates. Because uh, last time it did not work for me, uh, but now it now it's working. And now let's just load it up in case I'm really. No, it actually it actually loads. It it actually works. So um, before I end the video, I might as well show off uh, some other games I've replaced the battery with. And for Game Boy Color only games, so those games are the uh, games that are clear. Uh, I can show you what it looks like on the inside of them, and show you those batteries will still work. So first off, I got in my boxes, uh, they're in DS boxes, but there are Game Boy games. Uh, 
So I have Japanese Pokemon red, green, and blue. Red and green, blue and... And although red and green had dead batteries, uh, uh, blue had a working battery, but I've replaced it anyway. Uh, just so I can have uh, a 2032 battery in to have longer life. Uh, uh, so Pokemon red and green. And I'm going to show case because I told you that red also had the similar problem with uh, Wario Land 3. For, uh, Wario Land 3. Uh, Wario Land 1 for me. Uh, Super Mario uh, Super Mario Land 3. So I'm going to boot up Pokemon Red. Uh, and I'm going to choose Black and White mode. I should have got a Super Game Boy, to be honest. Because these games... Because uh, the Pokemon games are compatible with... Uh, yeah, different sound effects. So, you can see the game is working. And also, task screen's different. Still. But you can see there will be a continue... Yeah, right here, although it's in Japanese, but it's a continue, so my save works. And you're wondering, uh... And also, I also have Japanese Pokemon Yellow as well, right here. Now, I changed the back. This is not how it came, I just changed it. I replaced it with my Japanese copy of uh, Donkey Kong Land 2, uh, since the Donkey Kong Land games also have yellow cartridges. But, yeah, I replaced it with this. And, uh, yeah. Uh, but this also had a working battery, but... And this one, uh, Pokemon Yellow, the Japanese version at least, uh, uses a, uh, 2025 battery. Uh, whilst English versions, I think, use a 1616 batteries. That's what I saw in some videos. I think, like, Kyle Awesome's video on replacing batteries, but he did the soldering iron method. Yeah, he, his copy was like that. Uh... And they work as well. So, now I have other Pokemon games here. Gold, Silver, and Crystal. And they, um, all of them had dead batteries when I got them. I got Gold and Silver from Santa Claus uh, in 2020 Christmas. And Crystal I got from eBay with my own money. So, I have Gold and Silver right here. And I've replaced these. They, they use, as well as Crystal, they use a... Uh, 2025 battery but once again just like in this video i used a 2032 battery uh you can also use a, a 2016 battery but they'll last less longer they'll not last very long uh, 32s are recommended so i'm gonna show off i'm gonna show off crystal now the interesting thing about crystal uh crystal's battery is that i actually uh it's not one of the batteries i got from a, a store like pound world or such I actually found this in a reproduction cartridge. Let me just show you what that repro is. Uh, it is uh, South Park on the on the game on the Game Boy. South Park for Game Boy. Uh, and most of South Park fans will know that this is a unreleased game. There was no Game Boy game released uh, because obviously South Park is uh, not for children. And Nintendo is for children at the time. But what's interesting about this repro? I got is that it had uh, a CR2032 battery, but South Park does not use the save features, it uses passwords. So, what I did is remove it using the same knife method and then use it in Pokemon Crystal, and it works perfectly. Like, let me show you. It is a different brand as well, it's not like Kodak or Maxol, it's like a different brand. I can't change color mode on this game because this is a Game Boy Color only game, unlike a uh, gold and silver this is the japanese version as well so you see japanese but it works perfectly the battery this is the south park battery working on pokemon crystal and also you can see the clock features now i should mention this as well uh pokemon gold silver and crystal have not only a save feature to save your progress and your pokemon and that but it also has a clock function which, if, if, so what that means, uh, because, uh, all Game Boy games and Game Boy Color games use a, uh, battery to save instead of, like, a chip, which makes it save forever, until you delete your own, of course, or overwrite it, meaning they will run out and you'll lose your save. 
However, Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, they run out quicker. Uh, so, the Japanese releases, I think they were 1999. Uh, 1999, they, uh, po Gold and Silver were released in Japan. And uh, the batteries, uh, and 2000 in America. And it was until 2007 where people noticed that their batteries ran out and they can't st and they noticed their save is gone. Uh, that is uh, true. So, uh, so uh, making uh, these games uh, only bad because of the battery. However, besides that, there are good games though. Uh, for Crystal, it was 28, uh, 2008. Uh, they run out. Well, for America, the Japanese version was the same year as the US and US and European gold and silver. Uh, there was another game that uses a clock function. I forgot what it was, but it is a Japan only. Uh, I think the game ex uh, game explain uh, game display uh, talked about it, and that game also used the clock function, so that will run out quicker as well. Uh, I'm guessing that is why they use the 25 battery. Although I replaced them with the 32 battery, the one from South Park that I got was a 32 battery as well. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's about it for today's video, and if you're wondering if this is the actual unreleased South Park game, or if it's just a hack customer, let's show you. It is the actual unreleased South Park. So, yeah, the title screen's intact with Cartman, Kenny, Kyle, and Stan, and obviously Chef on the main menu. So yeah, and obviously all, I'm not gonna show it off because, uh, Curse words in the game. Um, so yeah, that's about it for today's video. Um, uh, if you like it, please leave a like if you like. Uh, and if you want to follow, if you want to see more of my videos, mainly Let's Plays, I may be doing them in the future. But I'm mainly focusing on getting a capture card so I can use OBS again, which I'm using now, uh, which I'm using here, uh, to record my game footage on my consoles. I don't know about emulators, because uh, some emulators are terrible, uh, so uh, I will be able to uh, get game footage in the future, so uh, when I get a capture card, but for now, uh, but, but for now, until I get a capture card, uh, I'll be just doing videos like this. Uh, you may remember one when I did a, about uh, Ocarina of Time. Uh, Master Quest, uh, the Japanese version, where it had more movies, and I also did videos like South Park Rally's uh, region lock screen for the Dreamcast version. I don't know if other versions have it. Uh, I know the Dreamcast version has it because mine's European and that. And a video on uh, my Donkey Kong Land Japanese cartridge, uh, Super Donkey Kong GB, and the ROM and the game is corrupted, unlike my other games in the collection. However, I do have a similar game like this that I did not show, uh, Yoshi's Island, uh, Super Famicom. Uh, I have similar problems with that, although I can play the game, but it would randomly delete my save file. It, the battery's not dead, it still works, but I took it out anyway. And, uh, the last video was, uh, me got, I got the Famicom adapter to play fam uh, NES games on the Famicom. Uh, Famicom AV for me, and I put Mega Man 2, uh, European version of Mega Man 2, so PAL version, and it had, uh, it was corrupted for me, and I decided to make a video on it, so, uh, however, I did fix it in the end, so it plays properly, well, high-pitched music, obviously, because it's a PAL game, but anyway, that is about it for today's video, if you like this video, please give it a like, uh, uh you can share it to your friends, uh, if you want to see more of my videos, be sure to subscribe and uh, be notified uh, if you want. Uh, so, I will see you guys next time. So, I am out of here. <laughs>